Hey everybody, it's me, Brandy, again, um, doing a quick update for um, Lara's challenge. The oh my god, I always forget what this is. The Healthy Holiday Hottie Challenge. I think that's the right order. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. Um, don't mind my dogs in the background. They've been naughty all morning. Um, so week five and still doing great. Um, I had, hey, I had some goals that, um, I wanted to kind of maintain and I'm still doing very good at that. I weighed in this morning at, um, 148.7. So that's actually a loss of what was I last week? Why don't I ever do this right before I make a video? It's like I just totally, I blank on it. One second. Um, okay, so. Okay, that's a loss of 1.8 pounds because I was 150 point. I already just forgot. 0.5 or 0.2 something. Um, knock it off, Aries. And so I am doing well. I didn't make all my water this week. Not at all. Not even close. I think on average I was drinking about 40 ounces of water a day. Um, not really close to my 70 ounces that I try to reach. But this week was really weird too. I just was, um, I guess because you know there's so much going on at the holidays and everything that I'm like so busy I feel like I was doing something with my friends like every night and uh, you know I'd have a glass of wine here you know I've here's the thing I love to have a drink I do it's part of my nature um, but I have changed to drinking a lot more red wine than anything else just because I feel like a glass of red wine doesn't really my dogs are crazy like I have Dobermans, so they're, yeah. Hey, guys. Um, so I guess I've been um, drinking a little more this week than normal, and that's probably not the best thing. Um, but a couple days before my weigh-in, I didn't drink anything, so I, I, you know, I wanted to make sure it was a true weigh-in, so that I knew that that was really my weight. Um, but I have been eating very moderately. I mean, like I said before, I've been, you know, having dairy every other meal or so, um, and that's like a slice of cheese, mind you. I'm not eating like a huge Alfredo sauce or something crazy like that. Um, and going to the gym, I did not go to the gym as much last week as I normally do. Um, I usually go about four to five days a week. I think I made it three times. Three, three times, I think. Um, and this week so far, I've went twice. So, you know, I'm on the right track this week. Um, you know, everybody's doing really well. This is the last week of the challenge. Um, you know, and by January 1st, my goal was to be in the 140s. So I'm hoping to keep um, on that route um, as I come into the new year. And I mean, my goal weight ideally is between 140 and 145. So I mean, I'm so close. I can like taste it. I, it's like, I feel like the closer I get, the harder it gets, but it's like with every point two of a pound, it's like victory, you know, it's like, because it, you know how much harder it is to lose that much weight at this point. Um, my body has been as low as 125 before, so I don't want to be that small. Um, that was, you know, when I was younger, it was, I don't know, 24, 25, um, but I don't want to be that skinny again. I didn't like really how I looked. I I was small, but I had like no curves and I just, I don't know. It was weird and I don't really want to do that. I am a woman. I'm not trying to be a stick figure. Um, I don't want to lose, you know, what makes me womanly and I don't think my boyfriend does either. So, 
he's been like, don't you dare lose, lose your womanly parts, because, and we all know, working out, what goes first, the chest, and the booty, and sometimes girls want to lose that, but I'm not one of those people, and so I do work out quite a bit to keep things lifted, and um, they've been doing a lot of lower body work, just because, um, with the amount of weight I've lost, it's, I'm trying to keep things tight and I want to build, you know, the booty area back up and, um, this is probably so, like, too much information, but, um, you know, it's weight loss. That's what happens. When you lose weight, things start to kind of be a little looser. You gotta go and work out and make them all tight again. Um, and I'm drinking my green drink. Mmm. I love that. Every morning I have it and it's like, it's my perk me up. I don't know. And I have a glass of green tea every morning. It's like, I'm in such a scheduled routine anymore that I don't even think about it. It's just what I do. Um, at the end of December will be officially almost three months with no coffee or artificial caffeine. Wow. That's crazy to me. It's very crazy. Um, what else? Uh, I don't think there was any other goals that I really had for the week, um, other than my water and going to the gym and, you know, maintaining, which I have. I mean, I've lost, so that's, you know, I'm not gonna be mad about a loss. I mean, ultimately, my goal is to be 140, but I'm slowly getting there, and I think now that I've gotten to the place where I am, I... I'm not in such a hurry to get there. I'm just like, eh, it'll come. You know, as long as I keep working out, eating right, doing what I need to do for my body, my body will respond. And um, it's so weird because it, when you watch all these weight loss videos, you know, um, you watch Jen Loves Pretty and you watch Lara and you watch all these people who have different um, eating plans and different regimens and it's just so crazy how the human body just works so differently for everybody you know um, when I was watching Jen's video this week she was talking about how if she stayed on her low fat plan she would never be able to really eat pizza again and I was like that's sad <laughs> I was like, yeah. you know because it, it is and, and it's sad because some people can and some people can't and I mean, it is just food, but, you know, food is delicious, and food should be enjoyed certain times, and then most of the time it should be used to nourish the body. Um, I've been eating, the, and I'm just going to say this because it's so weird, but I found this recipe on Pinterest um, of this Green Goddess Grilled Cheese Sandwich, okay? And I don't know, I've been, like, super addicted to these lately, and... I, I, I kind of think it's helping me lose weight a little bit because um, I had like three of them last week and this week I've had two of them so far but um, it's like Dave's Killer Bread which is like super super good for you um, it's spelt bread so it doesn't have um, any gluten it's like you know it's great basically and I have the light version so it's like 65 calories a slice um, but honestly, I don't calorie count. Um, I just eat all natural. So for me, it's like, it's a little different. I just feel like with low calorie, I tend to go for things that are super artificial because I want a snack or I want this and I want this and it's like a hundred calories, but then you look at the back and it's like full of junk and you wonder why you don't really feel well. Well, it's probably because you're putting so many artificial things into your body. Um, totally sidetracked. Sometimes I'm ADD. Anyway, um, so you make that, you put the bread down, you put pesto on the bread, which obviously I've made, and um, then you put a slice of cheese, um, which I use, um, what cheese did I get the other day? Oh, I use either Colby or I use monster cheese just because they're easy melting cheeses. Um, they melt really easy. Or I use mozzarella. But I, it, it just depends on what I have in the house. And I don't keep a lot of cheese in the house because I love cheese. And um, then you put avocado and spinach. 
and <clears throat> you can add like goat cheese if you want. You know, I've kind of experimented. Everyone's a little different, but oh my God, you grill it like a grilled cheese sandwich and I grill mine with coconut oil and oh, it's so good. It's so good. I just am like, it's so filling, but it was, I was thinking about it because I wanted to, to tell Jen, hey, you should try the sandwich. Then I was like, hmm. I don't think she can have that sandwich because it's really high in fat, but it's really high in good fat and natural fat and fat that's, you know, good for your body. You know, like coconut oil is one of the only oils out there that is actually not held, stored as fat. It's actually used as energy. So it's kind of like, even though it's high in calories and high in fat, it's it doesn't store that way. So... Um, Jen, if you're watching this, you know, definitely do some research into that sandwich because it's really good. Um, but it was just, you know, it's interesting to hear everybody's, how everybody does it. You know, how we all have different workouts, what we do to um, lose weight, and some work, some don't. And uh, this plan for me has been the best so far. Um, I've done some really unhealthy things in my life to lose weight. And this is like... I get to eat real food that tastes really good and like I just made um, homemade um, butternut squash ravioli. Oh, it's to die for. I put a little pesto on it. It's so good. Um, you know, I've just been learning really to cook a little bit more and um, to enjoy things, I guess, more raw and enjoy like having vegetables with some hummus instead of ranch because god I love ranch Ugh, that is the one thing that was really hard to give up to ranch is like ranch is my love when it comes to dressing I don't I like balsamics and things like that but god, there's something about ranch that is just so fulfilling it's just like you eat it and you're like mmm but I've cut it out for now because I eat it way too much so um Anyway, enough of my blathering. Um, my goal for this week is to work out three times. Um, try to get my water in. Uh, I really, really want to start drinking more water because I think it's kind of affecting me. I keep getting really chopped lips and, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing exfoliating and stuff all the time on them, but it's not really helping so I know I'm really dehydrated and it's cold outside so um, I'm gonna try to drink my water this week um, I would like to be 147 next week um, I'm not gonna like set some huge crazy goal but it would be nice if I could lose um, you know another pound um, or, or whatever and be 147 it's I mean it's crazy it's crazy I haven't been this weight since, wow, um, since before I met my ex-husband, and that was about five years ago, five years, five years, oh my gosh, that's crazy, oh my god, that's, oh, that's crazy, sorry, I get kind of emotional, because I just, like, you, you don't think about it while you're doing this journey, but, you know, you look back, and you're like, oh my god, like, I have lost. I've almost lost 26 pounds, and I'm just, I mean, mind you, I probably could have lost it faster if I was focused all the time, but I'm more one of those people that's like, you know, as long as I'm doing the right thing, it'll come, and when it comes, it's great, but I think when you're in such a hurry to get somewhere, and then you get there, and you're like, okay, now what? That's when people fail, because they're like, okay, well, I, I wanted to lose all this weight, I lost it. And then they go and they just start eating like they used to and, and going out to eat all the time and all these other things and that doesn't really help them. So it's like the slow journey, you know, it's slow, it's moderate, but you know what, it's probably going to keep the weight off. Anywho, I'm glad everybody is doing great. My shopping is done. I am ready for the holidays to come and go and I will... Um, See everybody later. Hope everybody has a great week. Bye.